actually written kind of as a, almost as a dare, but a group of us were sitting at South City Diner uh, talking about what we were going to do for our next one act plays that I had mentioned. This cockamamie thing that I wanted to do, uh, Robert Strasser, the director, and he says, uh, you know, why don't you write a superhero play? You're good at writing superhero plays. And uh, I said, well, I had this idea for this zombie clown thing, and my buddy Dave is down. I don't know how he heard me, but he just raises up off his chili mac like a half-mad pterodactyl and says, Zombozo! And then goes right back to eating. It's Zombozo. It's, it's zombie clowns, harneys. Uh, we're going to do it as a silent movie. We have to get a live band and all this stuff, and I just, there's no way this thing's ever going to get done. Months later, Robert came to me and said, Paul and I got to thinking, well, you know, we haven't done that in St. Louis yet. So I know enough musicians and I know enough actors. I think we could probably get a silent play up and running. So I went to Jason about a year ago and said, you write me a silent script and uh, we will put it up. And um, through hell and high water, we managed to do that, yes. It took about eight months to write. Uh, it was really, really tough writing for a, a silent play because it was all stage direction. but. Uh, it, it turned out okay. It, it was it was a really challenging, interesting project to, to try to put together. Heavily the evil magician. Basically, my character is, uh, is highly jealous of uh, my sort of my arch rival, Zambini the clown. Uh, I'm jealous of him for two reasons. So on the one hand, he's my chief rival for taking over the circus, but also jealous because he's got the foxy monkey maiden. Plotnik and I play Mariana, the monkey maid of Malaysia, who is Zambini's love interest. Um, I have a tail, which is probably my favorite part of the whole play. I saw it and I was like, oh my god, this show sounds amazing. I sent an email like, do you have any use for a fully insured fire eater? Because the part was originally written for an acrobat artist and I really wasn't trying out for any particular part. I just thought, oh, maybe they need more circus freaks. And lo and behold, it worked out. And I guess it was kind of difficult to string up a trapeze in the space anyway. So the part got adapted, and here I am. My name is Jeff Shanefell. I play Zambini the Clown. Um, so, and I become Zumbozo. I, I like this play because my character goes between being the hero and the villain. So, you know, it's it's up to your interpretation whether whether my character is someone you should be rooting for or whether he's the monster. Um, my name is David Burnett. I basically designed the set for Zambozo. You know, we we're we we're wanting to do kind of a sepia-toned sort of play and trying to get rid of all color except for, you know, the blood that kind of permeates through the second half of the play. That was kind of the main challenge and point of, of the color scheme and just trying to recreate that kind of 1930s circus atmosphere and feel. And I like to work just by kind of accidents and things that, that just, you know, sort of happen. Like the idea for the band being in a cage was 
you know, Robert wanting the band to be behind and the orchestra be orchestra pit behind the the uh, acting instead of in front. And so it was like, well, maybe we should put a cage up. Maybe it should be. So yeah, it's kind of accidents that kind of happen. I'm Irene Allen, and. I did the music for the show. I wrote one song before I finished reading the script because I thought the script was so cool. And then the rest of the songs were sort of the all the like old hokey songs that I'd written that I could sort of dig up that would sound good with a gypsy band. Like this, when I read the script, I was like, man, if they can pull this off, like this is gonna be incredible. The show's gonna be so cool. Like everything I imagined in the script, totally like down to the set and the costumes and just everything, like completely materialized and they totally pulled it off, which is really cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm.